shore, uh, especially at, at a northern latitude like Sandy did, there is an immediate transformation of, of uh, where the precipitation is falling and where the strongest winds are occurring. This, by the way, happened with Hurricane Gloria, too, back in 1985, where the extreme rainfall was in parts of New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania, and uh, New York City, but the strong winds were on Long Island and Connecticut and Cape Cod, those areas. Uh, what occurs is as the storm comes inland, uh, the friction of the land, because the winds are slowing down as they go over the land, causes the air to pile up on one side of the storm, but continue to blow hard where the air is exposed to the open waters, such as in Gloria, in Long Island, and also in Connecticut. In this case, the strong winds uh, were piling the, the waters inland in parts of, of the Long Island Sound, New York City, New York Harbor, and the northern two-thirds of New Jersey coastline. The heavy rain was actually falling farther south. It was more in the Baltimore area, the Delmarva Peninsula, and farther inland in parts of Pennsylvania. There was an uncanny coincidence regarding uh, the timing that Sandy was coming inland with the time of the uh, near full moon, so the tides were higher, plus the trajectory of the airflow was such that the winds were carrying water in from far offshore and creating unprecedented wave heights, and as well as uh, tidal rises along the New Jersey and New York coast. It's this counterclockwise circulation that is a uh, wind flow that goes uh, opposite the clock that was helping to pull the storm inland. Uh, the other thing that occurred that made this so uh, uh, bizarre and unusual and what, what got the nickname of Frankenstorm was the fact that it was transforming from a tropical cyclone into a essentially an early winter type of storm as it crossed the coast. And this transformation occurred in just a matter of, of two or three hours which is something that we have really never seen or have ever been able to measure in real time, but we now have it for the history books, at least from the meteorology side. Please keep checking back on our website and social media sites for regular updates, interviews, opinions, and data that can help your company learn from Hurricane Sandy.